Hi guys, welcome to week four. Great artist conversations last week. Um, as you know, I've been a little concerned that we do some really nice writing and I really have to say most of you did a pretty nice job with it, so thank you, really good work. So this week we have another artist conversation and we also have a new activity, automatic drawing, which I'll talk about in just a sec. Um, all the points are up on Beach Board, so be sure to head over there and make sure you know where you stand. Um, uh, points in the class are a lot like you know dollars in your bank account. If, the more often you check, the, it seems like the more money you have. The less often you check, suddenly when you do check, it's gone. So um, the points are a little bit like that, I think. Anyway, um, speaking of points, let me give a quick shout out to the top five. Top five at one o'clock are, uh, again this week, uh, Marites, Stephanie, Melissa, Carlos, Selena, Joy, and Brian. That was actually eight people, or seven people, because three are tied for fifth. Great work, you guys. And then at 2.30, top five, uh, Lydia, Jamie, Adriana, Samantha, and Jessica. Great work, you guys. And you know, obviously, whether or not you happen to be top five, really great work, everybody. There's a few people who are kind of at the bottom. I really encourage you guys to get rolling like immediately or you know if you need to drop i'm not encouraging that but if you do need to drop then like do that immediately but don't just let weeks go by and not get points it's it's it, you're just digging a hole but anyway for most of you really really strong work and thank you so um this week automatic drawing so it's definitely different and i can tell you you know what last semester for some people it was kind of unique and fun for other people it was um, weird and frustrating so hopefully you can be more unique than weird and more fun than frustrating basically it's kind of a you might almost call it like subconscious drawing um, in the sense that, you know, normally, or most of the time when we draw, we take a pencil or something and we kind of deliberately try to make some particular mark. Uh, usually it may be it's representational, but even if it's abstract mark making, it's still intentional or conscious, I guess. Uh, so in automatic drawing, you're going to get a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, brother, sister, anybody, friend, fraternity, sorority, brother, sister, anybody, get a partner and, you know, I, I like to sort of cross knees and sit, fa like knees touching, facing each other. Um, so for the art kit, it's that big sheet of paper, one of them, the other big sheet is for the finger painting later. The big sheet of paper and those three like chalk pastel things. Um, and so you put all four hands, all this is on the info page for automatic drawing, but anyway, you put all four hands on the thing and just let it go. So it's kind of a, um, a connection between your two minds and it's, it's interesting where it goes. So, so the people who find it frustrating, maybe it doesn't really go much of anywhere for a long time. The people who have a little more fun with it, it, it tends to move. Um, I guess I would just say, you know, kind of relax. Some people like to close their eyes. That seems to maybe make, give it a little, like lets you check out of the, the conscious world and just let it go a little bit. Um, I sometimes close my eyes, sometimes open them. Um, for me personally, by the time like we put our hands on the pencil, it's already going. It's very automatic, um, but for some people it just kind of sits. Uh, I, I would say that maybe like a quiet setting or maybe dim the lights or even turn the lights off and light candles. If you're over 21, maybe have a glass of wine, that all those kind of things would help. But to be honest, I've, I've also done this at parties and even though there's like a bunch of people and it's noisy, it still actually worked really well. So. Um, it doesn't seem to work great for every single student, but it's worked well for me and for a lot of students. Um, some people do like to close their eyes. Some people like to open their eyes. Um, I usually don't talk when I'm doing this, but, but some students have had like whole conversations and, or, or even caught up with old friends and they felt like you know, whatever emotion they, that was coming up as they were discussing you know, life and stuff, that that kind of found its way into the, the marks that they were making together. So there's definitely no wrong way to do it, but you know, do kind of just relax and try to have fun, have, try to have it be a fun thing rather than a frustrating thing. And uh, it'd be really exciting to see what you get. Um, some people, a lot of students seem to like to do more than one pass, more than one color. That's why you have the three sticks of pastel in your art kit. And all you have to do is do that and you're done. But some people do like to take that, that result and then kind of draw more on top of it or color it in. You don't need to do that, but you're welcome to do that if you want to. Um, so I do hope you'll have fun with it and obviously shout out if you have any questions. Thanks for all the great work so far and I will see you online and on Wednesday. Thanks a lot.